Hello friends, my name is Maria and I'm from Wonderfeet Kids Museum. Today I'm going to be reading a story all about forces. The story is called, And Everyone Shouted Paul. And if you guys could help me at home by shouting either push or Paul whenever I ask you. Okay, let's start. It's market day at Oak Farm. The animals are counting out the goods. Three boxes of apples, two trays of eggs, and don't forget the cheese. But how can they pick, take the goods to the market? I can push this. I can pull this. I can carry these, Mama. Oh, no, you can't. Do you guys use anything when you go to the grocery store to carry your groceries? What about a cart? The farmer's cart can do the job. Its wheels help move things easily. What do wheels do, Mama? They roll along the ground nice and smoothly. I wish I had wheels. Silly pig. The cart's wheels can't move themselves. They need a push or a pull to start them turning. I think we need some help. And everyone shouted, pull! Don't look at me, said the pig. He doesn't want to help. The first few steps are hard work, but then the wheels begin to turn. Come on, push. Phew, that was heavy. It takes a big force to move the cart. Can you guys say, push? Good job. The cart rolls along quickly now. It won't take long to get to the market. Keep up. Pulling a cart is easy. Wheel, wheels turn well on a hard, smooth road. But when the cart reaches three trees hill, the donkeys begin to slow down. And everyone shouted, push! Why is the cart so heavy now? We have to pull harder when we're going uphill. So the animals are pushing in the back, but the donkeys are pulling in the front. Oh no. The cart slowly reaches the top of the hill, then races down the other side. Help, I can't stop. Slow down. The cart is pushing us downhill. Suddenly, there's a sharp tug. Do you guys know what a tug is? Is a tug a push or a pull? A tug is a pull. The cart is pulled another way. Hey, why are you taking us on this path? We have to go this way. Look, there's a tree across the road. So they can't take this road anymore. They have to take this one. Do they look the same? Oh, I don't know. Big drops of rain begin to fall. The ground turns soft and muddy. We're not moving, Mama. Pull harder, darling. The wheels are stuck. Everyone shouted, pull! <laughs> Good job. So this ground is not, this road is not as smooth as the other road. Now all the rain made it muddy. And look at that pig. He's dancing in the rain. At last, the cart arrives at the market. I'm too tired to drag the cart back home. The cart will be empty, so it will be easier to pull. I'll be on it, that's for sure. That silly pig. The market is over, it's time to go home, but the cart isn't empty after all. Who's on the cart now? All the animals, right, except for the pig. Everyone shouted, pull! Hey, wait for me! Oh no, the donkey said. And if you guys can tell me what words that you heard in the story that were about forces. Did you hear push? What about pull? 
Does anybody know how the cart went down the hill so fast? What pulled it down the hill? Do you know the word gravity? Gravity pulls things toward the earth. I hope you guys liked this story. And if you didn't already check it out, we have our experiment, uh, our ramps, uh, ramps and balls experiment if you wanna try. Today we're gonna be talking about force and motion. Do you guys know what a force is? A force is an interaction that moves an object. What are some examples of forces? Well, as you can see here, we have a push and a pull. Hmm, can you guys tell me something that you can push? I know one thing. You can push a swing. You can push someone on a swing. What about something that you can pull? Hmm, well, you can also pull a swing. What about this right here? A cart or a wagon. You can push and pull. Can you guys push and pull with me? Let's do it, do it with our hands, ready? Push. Push. What about pull? Pull. Pull. Awesome job. So today what we're going to be doing is working with some ramps and some balls. So we have some different size balls here and you guys can try this at home with whatever balls that you have. So the first one that I have is a big basketball. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all these balls down our ramps and see how far they go. We also have this yellow ball and it's kind of spiky has different texture and then we have this purple ball and if you see it has some holes in it so this might affect how it goes down our ramp or where it lands and the last ball we have is this small red wooden ball and this one is a little heavy so you're going to see sometimes weight can affect how your balls go down your ramp there's a few different other forces that we can talk about as well we have magnetism, which is a force that pulls metals towards a magnet. Then we have gravity, which is a force that attracts two objects to each other. And then we have friction, which is a force that slows or stops motion when objects rub together. So you'll probably see some gravity and friction, not so much magnetism, but you'll see these two in our experiment. Can you guys think of some other balls that you can use at home? What about a golf ball? Or what about a big rubber ball? Hmm, maybe a tennis ball? Anything round that you have at home, you can try on your ramp. As you can see here, I'm going to be using two pieces of gutter along with my little hill that I have in my backyard to create my ramp. You guys can use whatever you have at home, whether that's a cardboard box, if you have some gutters, a piece of wood, or any types of tracks like race car tracks to make your own. So I'm going to put mine, I'm going to connect mine just like this, and we're going to test each ball to see how it goes. So first I'm going to be doing my big basketball, and we're going to let it go down, and letting it land. Now let's try the green ball. Interesting. Let's try our purple ball. Oh, and then lastly, our red wooden ball. Oh, that might happen to you too. If that happens, you might be able to do something different with your ramp to try to fix that. So I'm going to stack mine on top of each other to try to close that gap. Oh, and it worked. Interesting. Okay, so as you guys can see, the basketball went the furthest, then the purple ball, then the green ball, and then the red ball. I'm going to try one more thing with, uh, differently with my ramp to see if I can make the ball go a little further. And if you guys want to mark where they land by using like a rock or some kind of thing, a stick in the ground to mark where it lands. I'm going to be using a stick or rock, or a rock and putting where the basketball is. Okay, and we're going to try again. As you can see, I have moved my ramp over. I found a part of my hill that's a little bit steeper and uh, there's less tall grass towards the bottom, so maybe my balls will go a little bit further. Let's test them out. Okay, now our green 
beautiful. Okay, and as you notice, I'm not pushing or pulling these balls. I'm letting gravity take them down the hill. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at where our rock was. As you can see, our rock was over here. So that means that everything went a little bit further. So the way, what, the way I changed my ramp, it helped to make the balls go further. So if you guys want to try this at home and either share on our Facebook page or if you want to email it to our Wonderfeet email, I will put that in our little um, description and have fun. Thanks, guys.